Theatre Orientation Well, hello everyone. Welcome. So good to see so many new people here joining the theatre team today. I'm here to welcome you all and to give you your orientation. Just to talk you through the kinds of work you'll be doing here at the theatre, as well as give you all the important health and safety information. Now, I know people have a tendency to scoff at health and safety, but you know it is very... Oh, hold on. No, sorry, false alarm. <laughs> I thought I could hear a violin being tuned, but no, just me being paranoid again. Ah, but actually, that is one of the things I'll need to talk to you about. Classical musicians, but we'll get to that later. One of the first things people often ask is, is it true that the theatre is haunted? <laughs> yes, it is true. Her name was Miranda Vickers. She was a singer who was murdered on stage mid-performance, and consequently she was transformed into a vengeful banshee whose screams are fatal to all who hear them. She haunts dressing room 3, which is why we keep it permanently locked, to avoid any incidents. So don't go in there or the banshee will get you. What should you do in the event of fire? If you hear someone call fire, that means that the theater is under attack and you should therefore return fire. The heavy artillery emplacements can be found here, 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 and here and the machine gun turrets can be located all around the theatre's perimeter. We do provide glucose tablets to keep you going during any potentially all-night skirmishes, as well as cyanide capsules for use should you face capture by the enemy. It should go without saying, but it is of vital importance that you do not mix up the glucose tablets and the cyanide capsules. We had a woman named Mandy here a few years ago who did that. She thought she was ending it all with a handful of cyanide, and instead she was driven completely manic. In the end, we had to have her put down. Tragic. Now then, classical musicians, this is very important. It is true, we have had classical musicians in the theatre before. Usually they tend to be found beneath the stage or in the dressing rooms, and we do try to keep them out as best we can. But as any of you who have worked in venues such as this before will know, once classical musicians have got in, it can be extremely difficult to get them out again. We've had the exterminators in, more than once, but we just can't seem to get rid of them. The exterminators, by the way, are a punk metal band, whose sound is usually abrasive enough to drive the classical musicians out but it just doesn't seem to be as effective these days. It's possible that classical musicians have learned to cover their ears. And when it comes to guitarists, you must be vigilant. We sometimes have guitarists coming in here to do a show, and that's fair enough. But you must always, always, always be sure to check those cases before granting admittance. Nine times out of ten, you'll open that case, and it will just be an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. And in that case, fair enough, let them pass. But that one time out of ten, you'll open that case, and you'll find a tailcoat suit and a clarinet. So do not be fooled. Should you suspect that there is a classical musician or, God forbid, an orchestra on the loose in the theatre, they must be disposed of immediately. In the supply cupboard you'll find nets, teddy bear traps, and crossbows with specially modified bolts fitted with miniature boxing gloves for extra punch. These should be used to capture and expel the musicians from the theatre. A quick word on demons. In the event of a demonic incursion, you should deploy the little packets of salt provided. Simply tear the top off the packet and throw the salt at the demonic entity, which should repel and indeed expel it. In the admittedly highly unlikely event of an iceberg, what you should do is remove the iceberg and just eat the rest of the salad as best you can. Now that we've covered... Oh, hold on. Oh, no, it's fine. Thought I heard a cello, but it's fine. Another false alarm. Ah, now, that false alarm was just a false alarm. But in the event of an actual false alarm, the false moustaches will deploy from above, which can be applied to the face by first pressing it to the top lip and securing it with the elastic like so. You must remember to secure your own false moustache before assisting a fellow member of staff or a member of the public. Once everyone has their false moustaches in place, then everything can proceed as normal. You should also be aware that- wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's a bassoon. That's a bassoon. There's definitely a bassoonist in here. Right, right. You all stay here and I'll go and get the weapons. So just stay here and I'll come back.